Hey everybody, well, I figured I'd come out here and uh, show you the culprit. So this is my electric planer and that's where my finger got stuck into it and my skin got shaved off, <laughs> planed off. Um, but what I did today, and uh, you'll notice I have not changed the bandage yet, it's because I want to leave it on for 48 hours, we're almost there. Um, I'm not worried about it being on too long, the finger feels good. And I put a lot of honey on there to coat it, so it's very well protected. I did just go out to my hive, because it's kind of cool here and overcast, and uh, went out to the hive and grabbed three bees, dun, 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 and uh, stung my finger again. And you can see the stingers still on my finger there. And um, they are working their magic. You can see that. Um, I'm probably going to soak this in some betadine solution or a peroxide solution uh, for about half an hour before I try to unbandage it so that nothing sticks. But I kind of think that um, these bee stings are very important right now. And I'm going to do a video talking about coronavirus and bee venom because I do think that there are some strong applications there. But right now is the time to get set up and get your EpiPen on hand so that you can potentially use this. Okay, if you want to learn more, uh, join us at the Flippin' Lime Foundation. We have a group on Facebook called Apotherapy to Treat Pathogens. And um, I, it's welcome to everybody. Just request to join, answer a few questions, and there you go. And you could use this at home right now to keep your family safe. But um, we're not going to work with you if you don't have a nipple pin and you're not going to follow our protocol. There's a lot of protocols out there and a lot of people teaching bee venom. But we do it a certain way. Um, using venom for first aid like this is available to me because I've done it for a number of years now. I think this is my eighth year of doing bee venom, something like that. Over almost 20,000 stings, I bet by now I've lost count. But um, it's it's a great resource to have, especially in times like this that are, you know, where people are unprepared. Being able to go out to a beehive and use some of the hive products to make you healthier, well, that's just smart. I love you guys. Dive Girl Deb signing out.